we see there a huge right. problem. But staying with, now, the second part of Dawkins' assertion, it explains all the development of life. Now, here's where I think one has to be nuanced and to be fair, because Darwin was brilliant. He observed things that people had not observed. He observed changes. For example, the famous study of the finch beaks mm -hmm. in um, the Galapagos Islands. And I have a 1,000 page book at home, a famous book on that, and I've read most of it. And that was hailed as evidence, but of what? It certainly was evidence of cyclic change. What not so many people were aware of is that once the drought conditions uh, disappeared, the uh, proportion of long beaks to short beaks actually moved back to what it was before. But nevertheless, he could see that something was happening that filled niches and enabled existing creatures to adapt to new niches. Now, that seems to me to be uncontroversial because we can observe it. 